Hey, what's up guys? It's Crafty Fox, and today we're doing the 2022 Minecraft train collection video. So I've got a lot of trains to look at. We've been building trains here since at least 2016. I estimate it's around 400 or so, so it could take a really long time, but I'll set up timestamps so you can go to the section that interests you the most. Um, but some new changes in this yard. The sleepers are now embedded into the track, so they're kind of surrounded by ballast instead of sticking out. And we also do have some new uh, railway and railroad logos, as you can see right here. Just a lot. Just to help with the identification and, you know, it's easy to see from far away what it is and helps remember uh, what they are. And, uh, yeah, we have a lot to look at. You know, the United States, you can see, like, the different logos. You got, like, a Mickey Mouse right there with Disney Monorail, you know, Canadian National, Canadian Pacific. A lot we got the European trains as well a lot of smaller countries I've added like individual flags so that they own uh, the track you know Deutsche Bahn uh, the Netherlands right here SNCF from France fails the United Kingdom with the British Rail uh, the Great Western Railway LNER London Underground uh, just a lot we got some Australian stuff as well V line some Korean stuff and then we have some Chinese rail, Chinese railway, a lot of high speed trains. And then we have the Japanese with the JR West and, uh, you know, Japan in general, the Yamanote line, Shinkansen, and a large section for JR East. And then we have some Indonesian with the Kai, the Kereta Api Indonesia, and then these are some commuter trains. And then we have the Philippines here, as well as some other countries like, you know, Saudi Arabia, Argentina, Brazil etc and on the other side we have some fictional stuff like from gta 5 uh that is from an anime right there uh unstoppable then here in new york we have metro north the long island railroad the new york city subway system as well as some other a lot of railroads from america you know and new york and atlantic you know marta um, then the list goes on and on. You see these all these different logos. Sometimes they share the same states. Like this is like the Florida flag. And then, you know, we got a bunch of Florida trains there. You know, Brightline, Tri-Rail, etc. Uh, we've got Kansas City Southern, uh, MBTA, CT-Rail, CSX. I put two logos here. One's the boxcar logo and the other one's like yellow. And then we got Conrail, Norfolk Southern, you know, Amtrak, Pennsylvania Railroad. A lot of these big major railroads. Uh, C and O, Frisco, uh, we've got Southern Railway, Metra, the Midwest in general, and you know, we already went over Mickey Mouse, Santa Fe, Burlington Northern, BNSF, uh, Southern Pacific, Union Pacific, which is a large and popular one. And then, you know, we got the California right here, and then, you know, GE and EEMD. So at the end of the video, we're going to be doing a tally of all the trains per team. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So first off, we'll go off in Team USA. Uh, we'll go off with the GE. This is a GE logo. It's a Cummins QSK95. It's a demonstrator unit as well as this one. It's another demonstrator unit, the ET44 AC. And then next up, we have EMD, the other major manufacturer. So this is a GP20 demonstration unit. And then right there is the EMD X1 SD60 demonstrator unit. Following that up with Montana Rail Link, we got an F45 here. And now we're going to move on to the Californians. <laughs> we have uh, right here, California Fag. This is the Metrolink MP36. And then we have the Coaster. It's an F40. And then we have Ace, the Alamont, uh, do I have it right here? Yeah, Alamont Corridor Express. This is a new railroad that I haven't done before. And then we have um, Caltrain, we have the F40, and then MP36. All right, so now we're gonna move on to uh, the Union Pacific, which is a large railroad. So here we got an SD70 ACE, some more SD70 ACE. So these are actually heritage units, which are predecessor railway liveries. So here we got the Missouri Pacific or Mopac. And then we got the Western Pacific. And then we have the Southern Pacific. And on the other track right here, we have the Chicago and Northwestern Heritage Unit. And then we have the Katy Heritage Unit. Then we have um, this right here. It is the Denver and Rio Grande Western. And then we have some steam locomotives. Like I don't even have text on the side for some reason I think this is big boy and then we have the UP 844 
And then we have Challenger, and then there's actually two Challengers. Sorry, I don't have the signs here, but this is like in two different liveries. This is a Greyhound livery, and I guess this one's just like the black livery. Uh, but anyways, let's go back over here. We got some Union Pacific Spirit, and this is sort of like, I think it's like a Veterans Unit or something like that. It's a UP 1943. Then we have the George H.W. Bush, which was used on the funeral train. And for the other track here, uh, we got the DD-35A. So these are some large locomotives here. We got the DD-A40X. This one's huge. And then we have the DD-35. So it's like a no cab. And then right here, this is the Alco C855. All right, so on the other track right here, uh, this is actually is when it's hitting the school bus animation. The U30C, so I think it's like a U-boat. And then right over here, this is like a massive one. It has like three different parts. It's like it's the coal turbine. And then in front of it, it is a GETL turbine. And this is the second generation, so it's like the veranda. And then we have the Union Pacific Baldwin Centipede. So a lot, a lot of rails or wheels in the middle. And then we have the UP Gas Turbine GTEL. Very long as need. All right, so next up, we have the SD40-2. Then we have the Genset Switcher. And then follow that up with a GP15-1. And then, I don't know, is this a SD70ACE? Yes, it is. And then we have an ES44AC. Then we have the ET44. All right, so now we're gonna move on to Southern Pacific. So this right here is the Southern Pacific Daylight uh, 4449GS4. Very cool, I still need to update this, but this is just for placeholder. <laughs> and then we have the Southern Pacific E7 Daylight, which is three components. And then right over here, this is the Southern Pacific AC12. It is a cab forward. And then in front of that, we have the Southern Pacific AC9. Then we have a Southern Pacific SD45. Fairbanks H2466 Trainmaster. All right, so now we're gonna move on to BNSF. So these orange locomotives, we have the ES44 AC. And then we have another one, basically like a 25th anniversary version of it. So they have different railroad railway logos there. Then we have an ET44. And then we have a SD40-2 in the H4 color scheme. All right, so next track. We have a SD70 Mac, and this is in the executive color scheme. And in front of it, we have it in the vomit bonnet color scheme. In front of that, uh, we, we have the SD70 Mac. All right, and then in front of that is gonna be the Dash 9, C44-9, W featured in the Kismet Collision Animation. Then we have the SD70 ACE. All right, so now we're gonna move on to Burlington Northern. So here we have the SD60M, follow that up, with an SD9 and an F45. So now we're gonna move on to Santa Fe. First off, we have the F7, and follow that up, we have a C44-9, and this replaced the GVO that was in previous videos, which doesn't exist. And then we have the U28CG. And after that, we have the Santa Fe 3751. So that is a steam locomotive. And on the other track, we have the Santa Fe 2926. One of that is going to be a Santa Fe SDF 40-2. Then we have a GP... 35 and in front of that is going to be uh, SD 26 and in front of that with the zebra stripes this is the SD 24 all right so now we're going to go on to the one-on-one scale trains so here we have the BNSF this is a C44-9 and then we have a Norfolk Southern ES44 DC then we have a CSX SD 40-2 and I'm actually going to count this when I do the train count at the end so now we have some light rail. So here we have the LA Metro P3010. Uh, Follow that up with the Dallas Dart. All right, so now we're moving on. I think this is a Disney World. So here we have the Disney Mark uh, 6 monorail. And behind that is another one. This one is going to be the Mark 4 monorail. All right, so now we're moving on to the Midwest. So right over here. We have the RTA Cleveland Ohio Red Line Tokyo Car. 
Then we have the CBNQ Pioneer Zephyr. Then we got an Iowa Interstate GP38-2. Follow that up with a GATX GP38-2. Another GP38-2 from Illinois Central. Next we have the Illinois Central SD39. Behind that is going to be a Chicago and Northwestern AC4400 CW. Behind that is the Monon Railroad Alco C628. Then we have the Cuyahoga Valley. This is an FPA4. Then next up we have the Metra F40. Follow that up with a Metra MP36 and this is the state of Illinois. Alright, so now we're going to move on to some steam locomotives. We have right here, this is the Pure Marquette 1225. Behind that, that's going to be the Nickel Plate Road 765. Alright, so on the other track right here, this is actually the Southern Railway. So in the front we have uh, the 630 right here. And then we have the Southern Railway 4501. And now we're going to go on, these are, I think these are like smaller locomotives, but they're all steam in general. Uh, they're going to be the Sunkiss Fruit Growers number 3 Climax. And then we have the Grizzly Flats Emma Nevada. Then we have the Oregon Scenic Railroad Heisler number 2. And then we have the Crossette Western Co. number 10. And then we have the Cass Scenic Railway Shea number 2. After that is going to be the Milwaukee Road Hiawatha A Class. And then the Reading Crusader G1SA. Then we have a New York Central. This is the J1E for Hudson. And behind that, I believe this is the same thing. It's just like a Dreyfus Hudson with like a streamlined look to it. And then we have the Polar Express locomotive. Then we have the Reading 2124. It's a class. Uh, T1, which I just finished. Then we have the Spokane, Portland, and Seattle. This is the 700. After that is going to be the Great Western number 90. Then we have uh, Ellen and Louie in Nashville, 1593. Alright, so now we have Frisco. It has its own logo. Uh, we have the Frisco 1630. This is a Decapod. And after that, we have the Frisco 1522. These are some really old uh, builds here. And now we're going to Norfolk and Western. So we have the N&W 611. This is the J-Class. It's a pretty iconic streamlined locomotive. And then we have the N&W 475. Chesapeake and Ohio Railway. So first off, we have the C&O, the Allegheny. Very large locomotive. Behind that is going to be the C&O. This is the M1 Steam Turbine turbine and then we have a CNO 2716 right there all right so now we're going to move on to the Pennsylvania Railroad or Pensy for short so first off we have the S1 here and behind that uh, we have I think this is the S2 yep and behind that is going to be I think it's an S2 it just has like uh, <laughs> smoke deflectors right here and then we have the GG1 here. This is an electric locomotive. And then we have the T1, which they are actually making a new one uh, since there's no surviving example to this day. So next up, we have the DD1, another electric one, I think. And then we have the Pennsylvania Railroad uh, 1223. This is a D16SB. So now we're going to move on to Amtrak, which is the national passenger uh, railway for the U.S. So... Uh, first off, this is a new one. This is the Avila Liberty and it should be entering service soon or has it already? I don't know. <laughs> and then we have the SL Express, which is this is what it's uh, replacing. And then we have this one. This is the Amtrak X2000. And then we have the ACS64. It's an electric locomotive. We have another one in the Veterans Unit. And then we have the E60. It's in the Phase 3. And then we have an AEM7AC. And then we have the GE Genesis P42DC. It's in phase five. And then we have this one in phase three. And this one right here, this is in phase one. It's a heritage unit. And these two in the back, they're outdated. So they need to conform to these newer standards, which are more accurate. So the top's a bit shorter. Then we have the Cascades. This is the SC44 Charger. We have another uh, Amtrak Charger. And then we have the Dash 832 BWH. 
So after that, it's going to be an P30CH in phase two, or pooch for short. And then we're going to have an F40PH in phase three. And then an SDP40F. It's in phase one. And then we have the day one Amtrak livery. This is the E8A. It's a 4316. Then we have the Cascades F59PHI. And behind that is going to be the Amtrak Pacific Surfliner F59PHI. So now we're moving on to Norfolk Southern, back to freight. So uh, right over here, we have the Norfolk Southern ET44. And then we have the Conrail Heritage Unit, it's the ES44. And then we have Jersey Central Lines Heritage Unit, um, Southern Heritage Unit. And we got Illinois Terminal Heritage Unit, Pennsylvania Railroad Heritage Unit, New York Central Heritage Unit. Then on the next track, we have an ES-40 DC. Behind that, it's going to be a GP-38-2. An SD-40-2, it's a high hood. And then a GP-9R. Behind that, it's going to be an SD-70 ACU, which I think they actually are retiring, or they retired to another one. They sold, I think. The Norfolk Southern SD-70. We got the EMD F9. And behind that, it's like some kind of eco thing. It's a GP33 eco. And then we have an AC4400 C6M. It's a DC to AC conversion. So we got that special livery. And then we have the veterans unit. It's an SD60E. And then we have the Norfolk Southern Safety Trains, a GP38-2. So next up we have Conrail. I really like their logo, by the way. So right here we have the C32-8. And behind that is going to be an E33. It's an electric locomotive. And then we have the C39-8. And then last we have an SD80 Mac. So now we're going to move on to CSX. So first off we have an MP15AC uh, switcher. Then we have an SD70. Um, then we have an SD70. This is with the flared radiators. Then we have an SD40-2. And then a GP38-2. And then a GP40-2. Then we have an ET44AH. And behind that is going to be an SD70 ACE. And it's a Thunder Cab. Alright, so next we have CSX601. This is the AC6000CW. It's a YN2, a BC2 livery. And it's the uh, Spirit of Waycross. And it has the GE uh, steerable trucks. Well, this one right here, it's very similar to the other one. It just uses Hyatt trucks, and this is the Spirit of Maryland 602. And then behind that, we have it's also YN2, it's the C40-8W. And behind that, we have the CSX8888, <laughs> that's just the crazy 8s, the SD40-2, it's a YN2 livery. And this is involved in that runaway train. Alright, so then we have the CSX, the Spirit of our Law Enforcement. And then after that, we have sort of like a fire department run, the CSX 911 for the first responders. All right, so next up we have from Massachusetts, we have T up in Boston. So MBTA, we have a HSP 46, and behind that it's going to be an F40. So next up from Connecticut, we have CT Rail, it's a GP40 uh, 3H, and then a CT Rail P40 DC. So next track, we have Kansas City Southern. So that's going to be in the Bell livery, the ET44. And I think this is an ES44. And behind that, we have it in the Gray Ghost. This is an AC4400CW. And Kansas City Southern, they are merging with Canadian Pacific Railway. So there might be another railway in the future. So next up, we have some Florida trains. We have Florida East Coast here. This is an ES44. And then behind that, we have a GP7. Then for the rest of Florida, we have the Tri-Rail. It's an F40. And then we have another F40. It's a fun train. Doesn't exist anymore. And then we have the Brightline Siemens Charger. It's a SCB40. So after that, this is from, I believe, New York. The Saratoga in North Creek. It's an E8A. And behind that is going to be a Saratoga in North Creek. It's a BL2. And you may have... 
uh, recall there was like a video of a guy freaking out over these two trains. All right, so next up we have from Pennsylvania. This is SEPTA. So we have the SEPTA Silver Liner uh, 5. This is a married pair. And then I believe this is like one by itself. And then we have the SEPTA Silver Liner 4. It's predecessor, a single unit, and I think this one's gonna be a married pair. All right, next we have the Washington Metro, just a single train, the Washington Metro 6000 series. And then right here, this is gonna be the Montour Railroad SW9. And behind that, we have the same thing. It's just in the Centennial livery. And then we have a uh, seaboard coastline or something like that, SCL. It's a BQ237. And behind that, we have an SD50. And then we have from uh, Maryland, I believe, we have Mark. Uh, it's going to be a GP39. And now from New Jersey, we have the PL42. And behind that, it's going to be a GP40. And behind that is going to be a ALP46. All right, so next up, this is also from New Jersey. This is PATH, it's a Port Authority. I'm not even sure the whole acronym, the PA5, <laughs> we have it there. And then from Chicago, we have uh, the Chicago L, elevated, you know, 5000 series. And then behind it, we have another one. This is going to be the 2600 series. Then from Atlanta, Georgia, we have MARTA. So this is their commuter service. It's the uh, Hitachi CQ311. And then we have from New York and Atlantic Railway. This is a GP38-2, follow that up with an MP15. Uh, so now we're moving on to the New York City subway system. So right here is sort of like a maintenance locomotive, it's a R156. Behind that is from, I believe, Staten Island, the R44. They are gonna be replacing them though. And then we have the R62. And then we have the R188 used by the 7 train, which is actually my local subway line. And then we have the R33, it's a Redbird. And then we have some older trains, it's the R10. And then this is the R11. Then we have the R16. Then we have the R38. And then we have the R40 slant. And what is this, like non-slanted one? Yeah, R42 right there. And then we have the R32. And this is actually in the news quite recently because it's uh, retiring, it's on its last run. So. Uh, it actually served quite a long time than expected, I think. And then we have the R160. Then we have the R40M. And then we have the R68. Then we have the R179. It's kind of like a lemon. And then we have the Long Island Railroad. So here we have the M3. Then we have the DE30AC. And then we have the DM30 AC version, and the difference between these two is just like uh, the electrical pickup. This can use the third rail right here, so you can see that little orange thing right there. And behind that's going to be uh, MP15 switcher. All right, so then we have the Long Island Railroad M7 and the M9, and I will be updating them because the heights for them are actually a little bit too short, so uh, they will look better in the future. And then we have Metro North, which commutes to the north of New York City. So right over here, uh, we have the Metro North P32 ACDM. It's in the Metro North Blue livery. And then we have the uh, same thing. This is actually used in World of the Wards animation. And uh, this livery, I was like researching what's it called because you can't really find the name easily. And apparently a lot of people call it the G-String livery. It also goes by the Stealth livery, but you know, I think G-String might be a little more popular. All right, so next up we have the Metro North M8 rail car. I really need to update that as well. Now we're gonna go on to some fictional stuff. So we have uh, AWVR used in Unstoppable. We have 777 right here and 767. After that's gonna be 1206. And this one right here, this one crashed. This is the 7375. All right, so next up from GTA. So this is the GTA 5 freight train doesn't really like exist in real life and then we have a San Andreas Silver Streak and then we have Galaxy's Railways this is the big one based on the big boy and then we have some Zootopia this looks a lot like an SD70 Max so that's just what I called it and then we have the Roblox jailbreak cargo train and then right over here this is the Iron Fortress or the Kotetsujo and this is actually from the anime uh, Cabinary of the Iron Fortress 
Yeah, ideas of zombies. All right, so now I'm going to take a look at the rest of the world because it's not just the U.S. in this map. Uh, here we have Mexico, our neighbors to the south. This is the Ferromex ES44AC. And then we have an SD70ACE and an SD40-2. I think Ferromex, though, they're having a new livery, so that might change in the future. And then we have our neighbors to the north, the Canadians. So we have the BC Rail, the GF6C. And then a Via Rail, uh, GE Genesis, and then Montreal Tramways. It's an open trolley, so this thing can actually move by itself. Then we have Go Transit. Uh, this is the F59. And then we have an MP40. And then for a Canadian Pacific Railway, Canadian Pacific 2816, steam locomotive. And then we have an SD40-2. Behind that, it's going to be another SD40-2, but it is the... Red Barn, so it's a 2F, so it has this weird... It looks a lot different, man. It looks totally different. <laughs> really wide cap. And then we have the ES44 AC. It's a Jivo. We have the C424. All right, so next we're going to move on to Canadian National, the other major Canadian railway. So right here is the SD75I. Behind that is an ET44. And behind that, it's a switcher. It's a GMD1 road switcher. And then, uh, I guess, uh, ES44 AC. And same thing, but it's in the Wisconsin Central Heritage Unit. And behind that is the Canadian National Number 89. All right, so next we have the AMT MR90. And then the Toronto Rocket Subway. And then the Via Rail LRC. All right, so next up, we're going on to Europe. So right over here, it's not really in any country. It's like a rail pool the tracks AC3. And then we have from Sweden, we have the Swedish SJRC6, it's in black. And then we have also Swedish Railways, this is the X2-2000. Uh, and next from Latvia, this is the M62. Then from Estonia, this is the GoRail TEP70. Then from Austria, we have the OBB Railjet. This is the Taurus, Eurosprinter. And then from Croatia, which is abbreviation is HZ, which is kind of confusing. Uh, this is the Croatian Saborsek Silver Arrow. And behind it, this is actually a newer Croatian train. This is the HZ7023. Then we have some Croatian trams, the TMK2100. And behind that is going to be the TMK100. And the TMK2200. Then from Russia, we have the Lasloshka. This is the Zero. And then from Poland, we have the Pesa Dart. And then we have from Portugal, this is the CP PSB UME3400. And now we're moving on to Germany. So here we have the Wuppertal suspension monorail. It's a G15. And then some steam locomotive. We have the DRG BR01 class. And behind it, we have a tank engine. This is going to be the Class 80 DRG. And then we have the DRG Class 86. This is a newer one. And then we have Deutsche Bahn. So here is the Deutsche Bahn Class uh, 423. It's S-Bahn. And then we have ICE, which is the Deutsche Bahn's high-speed train. This is the ICE 3. And we have an ICE 4. And then from the Netherlands, here we have uh, the NS Arnet. It's a Flirt 3. Then we have the class uh, 1700, and before I had the 1600 and the 1800, but I decided to scrap them, just focus on 1700. And then we have a Vectron right here from, you know, Netherlands Bullwagen. And then we have the NS Verm, and then we have a DDZ, and then we have the Kaploper ICM, and now we're moving on to France. So right over here, we have the Orient Express, the SNCF class 241P, it's a mountain type. And then we have the TGV Rasu Duplex. So these are some high-speed trains. We've got SNCF logo right there, very colorful. The TGV Duplex right here, and the TGV Rousseau. And these actually come in like different liveries. So I think this livery is like called the Atlantic. And uh, this one might be the Camarillion. I don't even know. I don't know, I'm not an expert French. And then we have Thales, the PBA, and then we have the PBKA. And that's it for French. And then we have the United Kingdom, that's neighbors and the islands. That we have I don't have the sign here, but I know this is like a pacer train. And then behind that is gonna be Intercity 125. 
And behind that is going to be the Stevenson's rocket. And then next up we have some steam locomotives. We have the LMS Princess Coronation class. And behind this, Thomas the Tank Engines and Real Life Bases, the LB and SER E2 class. So basically one has extended side tanks while the other one doesn't. And behind that's Coffee Pod Engine. Then we have the Hogwarts Express. This is the Hall class. And then we have the GNR Sterling, which is Emily's real life basis. And the EWS. This is a Class 66, popular British train. And then we have the LB and SER A1X Terrier or Stephanie's real life basis. And I think these larger, like the newer British trains that I'm using, uh, 1.8 to 1 scale, just so I can fit more details so I can see these five blocks wide. Uh, back over here, we have the Eurostar. It's an E320, goes through the tunnel, I think. And then we have Scott Rail, the BR class uh, 380. So I guess this is British Rail logo. So here we have the class uh, 37. This is in the Euro Phoenix livery. And then we have a class 08. And then next up, we have GWR, or Great Western Railway. We have a Pacer, class 143, just like the other Pacer right there. And then the other Pacer, I think that's like first class, first rail or something. I don't know. Then we have Ducks, real life basis. And then after that, we have the city of Truro. All right, so next up is the London and Northeastern Railway, LNER. So we have the Flying Scotsman here, famous. And then this is Toby, the J70 class, relatively new addition. And then the other one here, this is the class 04. Behind that is going to be the Mallard or the A4. So next up, we have the London Underground. So first off over here, we have the 2009 tube stock and then the 1972 tube stock and then the 1996 tube stock. And then this one, it's a former London Underground. So it's used on the Isle of Wight Network Southeast class uh, 483. And some more UK, I think. The BR class 802. This is Transfer 9 Express. And then we have uh, the Pendolino, the class 390. And then we're moving on to Team New Zealand. So this is going to be the Kiwi Rail DFB class. And behind it, it's going to be the DXR. So now we're moving on to Australia. So Australia, the Sydney Trains Waratah B set. And then the Metro Melbourne EDI Comink. And then the gun, it's an NR class behind it. It's gonna be the Bellarine Railway T251. And then a Pacific National NR class. And behind that, it's gonna be a Queensland Rail 2100. It's an Eagle livery. And behind that, it's gonna be same thing, but it's in the Bronco livery. So next up, we have V-Line or Victoria, Australia. This is the P class. And I think this is the N class. And behind that, is going to be the Sprinter, V-Line Sprinter. And after that, it's the V-Line Velocity. This one actually looks like eyes. And now we're going on to Asia, finally. So we have South Korea here, or just Korea. Actually written in like letters here. Uh, this is the KTX-1. Or, you know, it's used in Train to Busan. It actually updated it since the last time. Then we have the CoRail 8200 class. Behind that is going to be the GT26. And then right here, this is the KTX2 Sanchun, high speed train. And now we're moving off to China. So here we have the Hong Kong Railway MTR RE460. Then we have the Qinghai Tibet Railways, the NJ2. It's actually manufactured in the US, I think. And then we have it in two different liveries. And then we have the China Railways DF4B. And then we have the SS8. And then right here, this is a QJ class. And they actually have um, two of these in the United States, or maybe three of them in the United States. And uh, some of them are in like in Iowa or something. But next up, we have the Chongqing line number two. And then the Chongqing line number three monorails. Then we have the Shanghai Maglev Transrapid. I believe that's one of the fastest trains that's operating regularly. And we have the CRH380A. And then I think the same thing is just the Vibrant Express MTR. And then we have some more high speed train, the CRH5A. And then the Fuxing CR400BF. So now we're moving off to Japan. I'm going to update these later eventually. <laughs> these are so outdated. The E233, it's uh, the 1000. And then we have the 0. 
and then this is the 5,000, and then we have the 7,000. And then here, this is the E235, it's a 1,000, and this is actually kind of special because it has like these bi-level coaches back over there. All right, so next we're going off to JR West on the west side of Japan. We have uh, the 700 series and the Hikari Railstar livery. So next up, we have the JR Kyushu in the south, the 800 series. And then what is this, General Japan? This is the 300 series Shinkansen. And then we have the original Zero series Shinkansen. And this is Nihon. All right, then we have the Keisei Skyliner AE. It's a second generation used on the airport trains. And then right over here, this in Japanese is Yamanote. It's on the Tokyo Yamanote line. The E235. And then we have the E231-500. Then uh, from the rest of JR East, we have the Narita Express. Then we have the E5 Shinkansen, um, the E4 Shinkansen. This is the Max, it was retired recently. And then the E3 Tsubasa, it's in the Yamagata reliveried version. And then we have the E3 in the original version. And then right here, this is the Komachi Akita, it's the R set, so, you know, different color. And then we have, this is a luxury train, the E001 series. And then we have steam locomotive, the Japanese National Railway D52. And then JR Freight, this is the M250. And so it carries these containers in the back. All right, so now moving on to Team Indonesia. And we have the special logo here. It's a Kereta Api Indonesia commuter. So that's going to be the 205 series. And a lot of these are actually like retired Japanese trains. The Tokyo 8500 series. And then we have the MTR Jakarta. Then we have the Tokyo Metro 6000 series. And now for some locomotives, we have the CC201 and then the CC206 uh, and then the CC203. Then the Palambang LRT and then the BB303. And then we have the BB303 and this is a different version from the other one because you see the back vents, they're a bit different. And then we have the CC205, and on the other track right here, we have the BB306 and the BB303, uh, and this is in sand green used in the Bintaro Tragedy animation. And then we have the BB304, and then we have the CC300, and then we have a CC202. Some of them badly need redesigns though. All right, so now we're moving on to the Philippines. So. They have a lot of light rail, so this is the LRT-1, it's a third generation 1200 class. And then next up we have the MRTC-3000 class. And behind that is going to be the LRT-A-1000 class, it's a first generation. Alright, so next up we got India right here, this is the WAP-4. And then we have the Rhodesia Railways 15A, it's a Garrett. And then from Brazil, the Ferro VS C-32 uh, dash 8, I think it was former Conrail or something. And then we have from Argentina, the CSR SDD7 on the San Martin line. And then from Saudi Arabia, this is uh, SRO SDL50, which is optimized for desert operations. Now, we're going to move on to, I guess, the last section. This is going to be our Thomas of Friends. <laughs> and I'm going to include that giant one over there, by the way. So right over here, I don't even have nameplates because I watched this show a lot as a kid. So I pretty much know all the names by heart, I think. So here we got uh, Scar Lowy. We have Duncan. Uh, we have Sir Handel. And then Duke. And then right here, Bertram. And then right here, this guy turned into a generator. This guy we got Smudger, which is like a reskin of Reneus. And then that's just a reskin of Duke. We have Peter Sam right here. And then we have Rusty, diesel engine, and in front we have Reneus. Then we have Stepney, Bill, and Ben, which is sort of like one. I'm just going to count as one. And then right here, this is Oliver, right Western, and then Duck. And then we have Mavis, the diesel engine, works in the quarry, and then Salty, works by the sea, and then Diesel, this guy is so devious. And then Diesel 10, he started in the movie. Thomas of the Magic Railroad, and then this is also from Thomas of the Magic Railroad, this is Dodge, and then there supposedly should be Splatter, but I don't really finish Dodge yet. At least just like placeholders. And then we have James, my favorite engine. Then we have Gordon, bigger, rounder face. And then over here, the iconic, you know, star of the show, Thomas the Tank Engine. Behind is his best friend Percy, and then Edward, which is an old engine. 
and then Toby the Tramp. On the other track right here, we have two versions of Henry. So um, basically one's before the accent, one's after. It's kind of hard to tell. And then we have Donald and Douglas. So you can tell by the nine and the, the 10 on the tenders. That's pretty much the only difference, I think. And then we have Lady, also from Thomas the Magic Railroad. And then we have Emily. And then um, we already went over this guy. I said this is 1.5 to 1 scale, but it might actually be 1.8 to 1 scale. I'm not sure. Uh, but that's Thomas Tanganji again. And then we have that really large Thomas Tanganji build. It's not really scaled. I just built like a giant version to fit in like the red stripes. I built this quite a long time ago, but there they are. It also does have like a little bit of an interior. You got lava inside. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, my train collection. There's actually more. Uh, to this but this consists of completed ones i'm still working on a lot of them all right so now we're going to move on to our final tallies of each category and let's just start with thomas since we're already here so it's going to be one two three well don't count him three four five uh six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine 30, 31. So 31 for Thomas. And then we have Saudi Arabia 1. We have Argentina 1. Brazil 1. Rhodesia, which is now Zimbabwe. That's going to be 1. India 1. The Philippines, that's going to be 3. Indonesia, it's going to be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then for Japan, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And then for China, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then Korea is going to have 4. Australia is going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And New Zealand is going to have 2. Uh, the United Kingdom, that's going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, I'm not going to count that second one, 23, 24, 25, 6, 27, so United Kingdom has 27, and then for France, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then the Netherlands is going to have 6. Then for Germany, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Portugal, Poland, Russia is all going to have 1. And then Croatia is going to have 5. Austria, Estonia, Latvia is all going to have 1. Uh, Sweden is going to have 2. Europe in general is going to have 1. And then for the Canadians, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Mexico is going to have three. And for the United States, this is going to be a big one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, uh, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, uh, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, I'm going to count, uh, I guess, 110. Um, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, um, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 
So that's going to be 200 already. So let's do it again, 200. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So America is going to be 225. And before, in the past, I've included fictional, but I decided, you know, let's just keep that separate just to make it not confusing because these things not actually like a real country. All right, so for fictional, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 fictional trains. All right, so now we're going to take a look at the final results on highest to lowest. So in first place, we have the United States at 225 trains. The next, we have Thomas and Friends, 31. The United Kingdom, 27. Japan at 22. Canada, 19. Indonesia, 16. China, 13. Australia, 11. Fictional, 10. Germany, 7. France, 6. The Netherlands, 6. Croatia 5, Korea 4, Mexico 4, Philippines 3, New Zealand 2, Sweden 2, and then Saudi Arabia, Argentina, Brazil, Zimbabwe, India, Portugal, Poland, Russia, Austria, Estonia, Latvia, and generally in Europe in general. That's going to be one each, which comes to a grand total of, drumroll please, 455 trains in total, which is kind of what I was expecting, you know, around 400. If you guys do want to see this map for yourself, you can check it out. I have a download link on Planet Minecraft, or you can log in my Minecraft server, uh, Foxshot. Link in the description. I do have a second channel called Foxer, where I've been posting my Minecraft train tutorials and other tutorials, so you guys can check it out. And if you guys are interested in commissioning a train, check out the link in the description. You know, a lot of these trains wouldn't be possible, so if you guys are looking for a specific train, maybe Maybe from your hometown or home country that you have not seen here yet or you want me to update an old design consider doing a commission and thanks to all the people who have commissioned trains um in the past especially this year victor and train master 395 you guys just commissioned a lot uh, but yeah that's pretty much it for the video i hope you guys enjoy if you do remember to hit that like button down below subscribe if you had already i'll see you guys in the next one bye